Martez inside the Tampa Bay Buccaneers locker room. Get a chance to talk to cornerback of the Buccaneers, number 28, Vernon Hargraves. Yes, sir. Proud Gator. We're going to we're gonna start there, right? You know what they're for? No. How much yeah. do you keep up with them? Uh, anything and everything. All day, like I still go there. Like I still go there. So with that, you, do you have any bragging rights inside your own in, inside your own position room? Because <laughs> Mike Edwards went to Kentucky. Right. So have you been giving him a hard time about that? Uh, yep, I already got on mic. I already got on mic. Uh, it's pretty much dying down now. You know, I had my fun with, uh, but you know that game's kind of old now. So, uh, but yeah, he, he still owes me a little something. We got a little wager on, so he still owes me a little something, something for that. But um, you know, we got Auburn next. So me and Carlton, right. we're going head to head. So it's gonna be a it's gonna be a busy week for us. Yeah, you mentioned you mentioned Auburn. You yeah. got Carlton. You got yeah. Jamel Dean. So you got those two yeah, guys. I in, forgot about Jamel. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah, yeah. keep you up, too. keep you up to date. Make yeah. sure you make sure you get all those SEC guys in right. there. Right. All right. With, with that said, they actually play an FCS school this week. I think we do too. I think yeah, we do too. They play. Yeah, they, they play oh, Towson. Florida. Yes. Okay. They play Towson this week, mm -hmm. the Towson Tigers, which mm -hmm. happens to be uh, my alma mater. Really? Yes, sir. Oh man, it's gonna be a tough one for you, dog. It's gonna be a tough one for you, baby. I don't know how else to put it. <laughs> well, I, I'm not expecting to win. I'm expecting, hopefully, to, to show up at the Swamp and maybe uh, keep it within 20. I'll give you that. Okay. I'll well, give you that. Let's talk, let's talk a little present. Let's talk a little present time. I want to ask you, as far as, like, you personally, have you made it an emphasis for you to be more of an attack mode on, at the offense, at the defense, mm -hmm. when it comes to being at the line of scrims? Because right now, you're actually second on this team, or actually number one on this team when it comes to solo tackles. Mm -hmm. You had that big game on that Thursday night mm -hmm. game against Carolina. Yeah. So, have you made it an emphasis in your game to be more of an attack mode when you're in the line of scrimmage? Uh, well, you know, I have all those tackles because I, I let a few balls get caught on me. So, click to so clear that up. Um, but, uh, yeah, definitely. Definitely staying more, uh, staying more aggressive. Uh, press coverage, that's what I do. That's what I like to do. That's what I prefer to do. You know, it just puts me closer to receivers. And um, I think that's why my tackles are where they are because I'm closer to guys. Even if they do catch it, it's catch tackle. And, um, you know, we're on to the next play. So, um, you know, it's not really that I changed anything. It's just really the scheme sort of puts me in position of what I like to do best. Press coverage, you got to be aggressive. And I think that's where all the tackling and all that stuff is coming from. You mentioned going on to the next play. And usually as a defensive back in this league, as a cornerback in this league, there's going to be some plays in the first quarter. Second quarter, you may give up a big play. Right. But you've bounced back, including that Thursday night game mm -hmm. where you pushed McCaffrey out of bounds, made that right. tackle on that type of play. What's that mindset come from? Because... Listen, when people that watch the game, folks, fans, they see the first quarter, the second quarter, but you move on from that. How do you do that? I mean, you got to. You got to. I mean, it's not even just the cornerback. It's the whole team. It's a team thing. You, I mean, you can be down 28. You can be down 18. You saw the, you mean, the, the game we just played. They were, we had them up 18. You know, they, they continued to play. They continued to fight, and they came back and got us at the end. But, um, you know, that's just a game of football. Uh, especially the, playing the position that I play. You got to have a short memory. Guys are going to catch balls. Um, that's just what it is. And uh, you got to be able to move on. You can't be thinking about stuff or else it's going to be a long day for you. You mentioned that 18 point, 18 point comeback by the Giants at the, at the second half. Mm -hmm. What happened or how do you avoid having it happen again when you go to Los Angeles and you also have a stretch where you're, you're away from Raymond James until oh, yeah. week 10? Uh, you know, it, it's just mental. It's mental. You got to be mental. You got to be mentally strong. We got to not bus coverages, not bus plays. Um, everybody has to do do their job, you know, uh, especially when we're up. You can get lax. It's easy to relax. It's easy to chill. Okay, we, we got a lead on them. We, we can relax. And, uh, you know, you got to you gotta get that out your mind. You got to get that out your mind. You got to stay focused. You got to keep playing how you've been playing in the first half to get that lead. He's a proud Florida Gator. You know it. Won't, lo won't lose this week. We'll <laughs> say that much, but he's a playmaker too, Vernon Hargraves. Thank you.